Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm wearing my scaffy clothes today because I'm going to be getting very, very dirty sorting out that mess behind me over there, which I'll tell you about that in a minute. I should probably wish you all a happy new year because it's still technically January. So yeah, happy new year! Not that it's any different from last year, but today is going to be all about a sort of mini day in the life slash van life slash hints and tips slash a little bit of an insight into what my life has been like in lockdown. I've been trying to keep myself exceptionally busy during lockdown with millions and millions of projects around about the house. My house is one big workshop at the moment as you can probably tell. This is my, my way of kind of coping with this because we've got no end in sight at the moment. We don't know when that's going to be. We know there's a vaccine now but we don't know when this whole coronavirus thing is going to end. I'm being good, I'm staying in the house, so I'm not going out at all apart from going shopping maybe once a week. That's it. So I really haven't been out taking any photos, which has been a shame really because the last week especially we've had some absolutely fantastic conditions. We've had loads of fog and loads of mist and a little bit of ice and frost and even some snow. So this, the end of this week we've got more snow forecasts. So today I'm going to be spending all my time today just clearing up all my rubbish, working on some more projects for the van and then hopefully mentally preparing myself for getting out at the end of the week to maybe go and shoot some snow for maybe one of my sort of exercise days. I'm sure if I do end up doing that you'll see my photographs on, on my Instagram page which I'll link up here just now. But for today, I'll show you my mess. You're probably wondering what all of this stuff here is. That used to be an Ikea mattress. <laughs> That's all the, the leftovers from when I ripped it apart. That's my kitchen pod there from the van, which I've taken out to work on. You can see there's a saw. Yeah, so I'm gonna be stripping this down. And the reason for that is because I'm taking this part here out. Now you can see my hand size against that. That's about an inch and a half foam. That is a full size piece of intact to sort of inch and a half foam. So that is going to go in the roof of the van up there. So I'm going to be taking the rest of that mattress up to the dump just now. I got a new mattress during lockdown and it's one of those kind of really cool memory foam ones but it's like memory foam all the way through. So the IKEA one had to go, it's about five years old, it's past it. So that's going to be a nice comfortable bed for whoever sleeps up in my roof. <laughs> Not me, because I like sleeping in the bottom. <laughs> so apart from going to dump today, other stuff we're going to do today is cutting up cupboard doors for the kitchen unit. I noticed that when I was driving, sometimes the, the items inside the kitchen pod would kind of like fall about, because I'm a, obviously a really fast driver, or really reckless, I don't know. So I'm going to make some cupboard doors. I've already been to B&Q to get the hinges for those. Thanks to a, a lovely person in B&Q, I got a nice bit of MDF in the, the sort of what do they call it? The salvage section or the clearance section? I don't know. Like a nice bit of MDF in there. So I'm going to use that, chop it up, make two things from that actually. I'm going to make cupboard doors and I'm going to make a camper van table, which is going to factor into a possible layout in the van that I'll talk to you about later on. So I've got a lot of stuff planned for today. It's going to be messy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> messy and dirty. That's what it's going to be today. <laughs> messy and dirty. Yeah, let's go dump. As is always customary when I've been to the dump of bringing the van for a wash because it's mock it. I'm actually supposed to eat healthy just now, but um, 
as you can see that's not happening <laughs> not today and it's not a January New Year's thing it's just a I need to eat healthier thing because I've been feeling really unfit recently there's no way I could get my backside up a mountain just now my cat's trying to get in hang on That's the cat. <laughs> this is like <laughs> yeah. I thought I would um, take this opportunity just to kind of catch up with you. Uh, tell you what I've been doing, which surprisingly has been quite a lot. Don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> Wait a minute. Obviously, you know I've been working in the van, which has been my main focus through this lockdown. And the last time I spoke to you was when I was out doing the winter shoot. We've pretty much been in solid lockdown for the last month. It's been torture having a beautiful van in the driveway that I can't do anything, I can't go anywhere with. Obviously the conditions recently have been pretty good for photography, but I've just not been feeling it. I've just not been feeling motivated. I've been kind of stuck in a sort of never ending loop where I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day and I'm sure you all feel exactly the same way and you can completely understand what I'm talking about. But I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day, I feel like every day is exactly the same. I've been trying to kind of pull myself out of that. Uh, and by doing that I've been working on the van. So the van has been my little kind of safe haven through all this last two or three months of lockdown. I've got so many adventures planned for when lockdown the restrictions are lifted. My next two projects are going to be the roof mattress and the camping table. I just had a notification from eBay that my rail and all the little bits that you need, the table leg and stuff like that, have been dispatched so they'll be here in the next few days. I wanted to cut out the sort of general size of the tables, maybe 800 millimeters by 500 millimeters. Now the standard is 800 by 400 millimeters, but um, I want mine to be a little bit wider because I'm going to put up a, a question to you guys just now. You can maybe help me with this. At the moment, as you know, my van is laid, laid out like a typical transporter. It's got a row seats in the middle and it's got kind of wing seats in the back and they can fold up out the way. So I've put my kitchen in the back in the rear, so it's a rear sort of temporary conversion at the moment. You can either fold the tables down, sorry, fold the seat down into a table and use that as a table, which makes it quite a nice big area, but the problem is they kind of sit like that, so they're not totally straight and you'd have to kind of shove cushions under it to kind of raise them back up again so you can actually put a cup of coffee on it without spilling it all over the van. So you can either do that or you can buy a table, which is what I talked about in my van tour video. So I've bought the bits for it now. I've cut out the sort of general shape of the table, I still need to round off the edges and stuff but I'll do that today. So the question I have is should I turn round the middle bench seats and have them facing into the van and then that way the wing seats and the bench seats will be like that essentially, they'll be facing each other. So the only pros and cons in my head about this are, pros of that is it looks more like a camper van because you've got that kind of seated area that is facing each other. It's more social and you can have a chat easier and obviously when the table's been installed you get a nice table in the middle and it'll be very social and they'll have your dinner and all that kind of stuff. I don't know because this is also temporary just now because I'm going to have at some point probably a side conversion with a rock and roll bed in the back. That's my main, like that's what's going to happen to the van eventually I think, I think. But, uh, but temporary just now for to kind of get used to it and to get used to the layout. I'm thinking about just turning the seats round it's actually quite tricky. I watched a YouTube video on it the other day and it actually looks more complicated than it should be. <laughs> I think these seats should just have a button in the middle that you can just turn them and swivel them around, but apparently that's not that's not the case. Oh, the other con is as well, is at the moment the van, uh, the seats, when they're flattened down, they all meet each other and they lock in place. So when you're lying on the seats, they don't like separate when you're trying to sleep. Whereas if you turn the seats around, I'm not sure if when they're extended down the weight, whether they, they will actually meet or whether there'll be a big gap and I'll have to like fill in that gap somehow or find a way to lock it. I don't know. I'm not really going to know until I actually do it, but if any of you guys have a Mazda Mongo and you've done this, then please comment and let me know what you've done because my head's all messed up about it. I haven't a clue, to be honest. I know how to take the seats out and I know how to turn them around. That bit's not the issue. It's the issue is, should I do it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go and start cutting up the cupboard doors now and uh, make a nice big mess.
mean, this was never supposed to be pretty. It's only supposed to be functional. <laughs> so I've just noticed that my screws have come right through the wood. I mean, they're not exactly massive, but uh, I thought they'd be fine because they're really small. Oh well. But um, yeah, I'm glad that is the first bit done. I just need to get a magnet or something to like hold it shut and then we're all good. Two more to go. Uh, I mean, it looks all right. It's not perfect. It's a little bit jagged around the edges and there's a tiny little gap, but it's fine. It's functional and it's just to keep the stuff in. It's not supposed to look pretty. I will probably paint it grey to match the rest of the unit, but at least that's another job done for today. And oh, awesome uh, tip as well. I'm gonna show you something cool. This is four meters by 1.8 meters of really good quality felt backed carpet. I got this, it actually was six meters by 1.8 meters when I picked it up from the carpet store. It cost me 10 quid, 10 pound with a word of a lie. And it's it's nice, I mean, it's like, there you go. You can't see it, it's not open. But it's lovely, it's a nice kind of light grey colour. I'm thinking about putting it in the van, temporarily obviously, so I'm going to get vinyl put in. I can't believe I got this for a tenner. Such a bargain hunter. I'm not spending huge amounts of money on this part of the, the van because um, there's no point. I'm going to be spending a fortune probably summer autumn time, like doing the actual full conversion. Um, but I want to have a summer where I just just get to know the van and all its little quirks before I go and spend all that money on it. I've also noticed a couple of little rust spots under the doors, so I need to treat them as well. It's just a never ending list of jobs with that van. <laughs> but it's, it's fine, it's going for a service tomorrow. That'll be its winter service, and then it'll be pretty much ready to kind of go away with as soon as we get the restrictions lifted. Yeah, so this has just been a week and a day in the life of um, what I've been up to in the last I don't know, two months. I'm hoping to get back out and do some proper photography really, really soon, but I wanted to make the van functional before I could do that as well. At the moment, I'm probably balancing about four projects just now on the go at the one time. The only one that was actually completed was the office cupboard, which is done. And that's also what the carpet was for because I gave it a nice new and fresh bit of carpet at the box bit as well. I hope you forgive me for not being online as much as I normally am. I'm usually uploading once a week, as you know, but um, it's usually all photography sort of related stuff and I haven't been able to get out because I'm sticking to the rules. I'm not going anywhere. The more we stick to the rules, the sooner we get a chance of actually getting some kind of normality back and that's what we're all kind of craving just now. So if we get snow this week, I will be out this week trying to shoot something because I passed a photograph the other day and I didn't have my camera with me and those vlogs are probably going to be about more sort of opportunistic photography where if you're just out doing stuff like what I've been doing today and you happen to have your camera with you, which I did, but the conditions were rubbish today. So I'm thinking about maybe next week or the weekend, if we get a bit of snow then I might be able to just happen to have my camera bag in the van all the time. Maybe I'll catch some really fantastic conditions and I did see a composition that's about two miles from me, so it's not far, so I can I can travel to it um, for exercise. <laughs> By exercise, I mean walking up and down the road. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's all kind of hopefully going to be coming up in the next few weeks. I can't promise weekly videos at the moment because obviously I'm stuck in the house. I can't go anywhere. I could do some indoor photography. I could do something like studio shoots and things like that. If you want like portraiture sort of shoots, self portraits. If you want to get some new headshots for your website or your Instagram or whatever you need them for. If you'd like that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments. If you've stuck with me this far, then thank you very much. Um, this is just another video in the, the van life series. Little Nevis is coming on great and it's still my pride and joy and I still enjoy working on it. So if you like this video and want to see more of this kind of video with the van life sort of stuff, then like and subscribe. And until next time, I won't say next week. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.